Hi everyone, on this topic we will talk about Delta DOP100 HMI historical trend graph basic system architecture will use a DOP100 HMI with the IP address 1.92.168.1.20 uh, connect with uh, AS POC with a uh, 0.1.5 and uh, DVP POC with a uh, 0.1.6 and we will read the real-time graph from AS POC for the uh, spatial register 396 and uh, uh, spatial data register D1313 for the real time clock uh, for second. Next, we move to the DOP soft setting. So, we will uh, connect through Ethernet. So, here we'll define the IP address uh, with a uh, 0.1.5 and select uh, SPOC TCP. For DBP, we also select TCP with the IP address 0.1.6. And for today's example, if we want to read the uh, two or more uh, curve showing on the uh, trend graph, then here we should use the uh, same address. And today's example just show with the dollar sign uh, internal memory of uh, HMI. So dollar sign 100 will read the spatial register uh, from SPOC uh, 396, this one already mentioned, and uh, dollar sign 101 will read the second connection from the DBPOC, also the real time clock uh, second. Uh, next, we'll move to the historic uh, buffer and the uh, trend graph setting. So, as you can see here, uh, we will find the historical uh, trend graph. So, first, you can select the buffer ID. And this buffer ID will actually relate with the history buffer where you set. So one means the number one, and then you can set the how many words you want to read. So in this example, we just read the two uh, words. So that means uh, dollar sign 100 and 101. So that means uh, we also need to uh, enable uh, this two. Then we can see these two uh, curve. Okay, and in this example, you can see I set also the two and three. So if you just try to uh, put the number over here, it actually will still show you only one curve. So this is the way that you want to see two or more streak uh, curve. Then you should use uh, this method. Then uh, you can see this one is if we just want to show the uh, data buffer, ID number two, so you will show like this, and because of we read only one data, so here just uh, show you one enable. So now we will switch to the software part. Okay, so here uh, we can go to the communication settings, and this one already mentioned. Okay, we said the uh, S and the uh, DVP. Then this this is the IP address of HMI. Okay, and next we can move to the settings. Okay, so we can click the data management. And this one is uh, what I mentioned. We can define this and the uh, spatial uh, register. Okay, and then we can click the project and go to the macro. So here I will put the data inside the clock macro. After that, uh, we can go back to the screen. So for the screen here, I will show the numeric display. So for the ASPOC real-time clock and the DVP POC real-time clock. And then we will move to the historic uh, trend graph. So this is what I mentioned. We can select the buffer ID. And next, we click the style. So you can select how many curves you want to display. So in this example, we will show two. So here we just uh, select the number to two and maximize it uh, up to 16, 60. Okay, and this is what I mentioned for the historic data. So we have to enable uh, this one. The default value is zero. So if we want to enable, just change to one. Okay, and you can change to different color over here. And this one just for your reference, uh, if you want to see the data table. Uh, one is this one is for curve and this one is for a uh, table. So again we just do the same settings. 
and then I will go to the second page. This is what I mentioned. So for the main, we still select above ID2 and style. Here we just select one because only one data. And then uh, enable. And this one is the same, but we just change the buffer to three. Okay, so now we can download the program. Okay, so uh, we just uh, select the IP, then uh, click uh, start transfer. And then uh, we can enable the VNC function uh, from here. Okay, then we can access through uh, VNC viewer. And the default password is uh, from 1 to 8. Okay. So you can see this one will keep increasing. And then we can switch to next page. So you can see the curve. Uh, this one is uh, for the first one. A special uh, real time clock uh, from ASPLC, and this one is for, from uh, DVP PLC. Then we can switch back to page one. Okay, so you can see once it go to 59, then it will go back to zero, and then uh, the second one from DVP PLC also go back to zero. Then we can also go back to the uh, screen page two. So basically that's all for today's topic. Uh, thank you.